Well, good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? Whittler Dave here. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, folks. Just beautiful. Weather's nice. The trees are changing around here. Woo! Is it pretty? I drove through some of the mountains uh, the other day going to Lowe's, and oh my God. God's country here, folks. Just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, I, I'm not going to have a really long video. I'm, I'm undecisive this morning. And you now I'm trying to finish up this Santa Claus. And yeah, I started another pumpkin man. You know, working on his little leggies. You know, very simple, folks. Just like I said, grab you a block and jump out there and get on it. But anywho, I was finishing him up. And then, of course, my Google brain wouldn't shut up. So I thought I'd carve a tree. So it'd be behind it. Well, I don't like the tree. I don't know. It just ain't whimsical enough. So this morning, <clears throat> I came out here and I redraw the tree. And I like it because it bends. Kind of more of a whimsical look. See? Kind of a more whimsical. So, let's just knock this tree out here real fast. It's not going to take that long. No. And everything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me bring you back up here. Gonna do some show and tell. I had some more people in my shop. You know me, I love I love when people come in the shop. I do. And I need all the luck I can have this crazy month. I had a family from Louisville, Kentucky. Coming the lady come and got her spoons, her and her husband, and her son was here from Louisville. She brought look at this. A four leaf clover. Now how rare is that? <laughs> I need the luck, folks. Woo, do I ever need the luck. But you know me, anybody that makes stuff and it represents the United States, red, white, and blue, I'm I'm right there. 150%. You know I love my flag. This is going to be hanging over my desk in my house so I can always look at it. Yes, sir. Ain't that beautiful. Oh, I, I love this. I love this. It's beautiful. It is. Let me set this darling over here so it doesn't nothing happen to it in this four-leaf clover. And we'll just kind of work on this tree. You know, that's I don't care for that tree. It just, um, I don't know, it's not whimsical enough. It's, it's Dave. <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe it's just me. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm an artist that is kind of picky about, you know, if, if it... It looked good in my eye when I first drawed it yesterday. But then after I got it done, I'm looking at it like, well, I don't like that tree. It's not tall enough, and it's just not whimsical enough. You know? Now, this is sugar pine, but this is more of a grainier sugar pine. It's it's an older sugar pine. I've had this for years. I dug it out of my scrap box. So it's going to be a tad tighter than the sugar pine I've been carving. This is probably... About three, four, five years old. So I don't know. Lord knows. I had it in the in the cellar basement, and I seen it, and I'm like, "You're it." So it's going to be a little bit tighter and everything. And uh, yesterday, Troy, if you're watching this, your package is on the way, brother. I've sent it out. I know a man and his wife that lost everything in the Western North Carolina flood. And I met this man at the carving show several weeks ago. And, you know, uh, I can't help it the way I am, folks. I just, I, I, I picked his pain up. I, I seen it. And the man, you know, had lost everything. And he's a carver. He's a builder. And I don't want anybody like that. I've, I've lost a lot of stuff in my life. So, I uh, told him, I said, I'll take care of you. And I sent him a box of love out. All kinds of things that's cut out because he don't have a, he don't have um, machinery right now to uh, cut. So I cut everything and got it ready, and it's yeah, I sent it out yesterday. It should be arriving sometime. It's going all the way to Virginia, so it's going to be probably Tuesday. They said um, hopefully maybe he'll get there early so the man can just set and whittle. And if he needs more, contact me. You know, everybody goes, well, you know, why do you do that, Dave? I said, because I've been like this all my life. All my life. I've always gave, gave, 
and gave and gave. That's just that's just my forte of life. My grandmother used to tell me the, you know, if you give in life, you will receive. Well, you know, I believe that. I do. I believe that. Yeah, I like that. I like the whimsical. It's bent. So that Troy, like I said, if you're if you're watching my video, brother, it is on the way. I hope you enjoy what's in the box. I don't know. I've done some Christmas and I cut him out some other personal stuff of my own stuff that I carved. You know, it's not all about me, folks. I've told you that over and over. You know, and I want people to get out there and if this is the way to get his mind off of things that he's him and his wife has been through and stuff, I'm for it. I am, 100%. You know, you know, a true artist and a true hand carver and a true builder that is true to his craft will reach down, pull it out of his billfold, or make something, or just help somebody. If you're true to the cloth, and I am, and this man is, I've never seen his work. You know, we talked on the phone. I have his phone number in my phone he's uh he's just become family and i just i have on i've only met him just met him once but i i told you i picked up his pain so like i said it is on the way and i want pictures i hope troy sees this you you carve that stuff i want pictures i tell people send me pictures dave posting at gmail.com you know Go to Google Maps. If you come here, type in Wither Dave, and that'll bring up my house and all my location, and it brings up all kinds of personal information, so you can come straight to the house. You know, I love when people come here. And guess what? I'm going to be at Burger King next week, uh, uh, tomorrow next week. Oh, I hope not. Tomorrow. I'm making my stuff today. It's going to be a light day. going to rest my hands. Last week, I was framing. I ain't framed in years, but I was framing out a, we built onto a house, we, on a porch actually, and we made their kitchen bigger, so I was framing last week, and I've been painting all the stuff this week, but we haven't put the cabinets in yet, that's coming, we're going to be ripping out all the, the kitchen, we got the, we got the shell built, and everything, now we got to put the cabinets in, and put the, uh, fix the electric in the uh, kitchen I and mean, we just there's just it's an old home but these people are phenomenal they pay their rent so like I said you know you take people like that who are phenomenal and don't miss no rent and stuff and you help them out you know that what's it this is what we need to do in America to bring back America just to show some love folks show some love don't matter what it costs you Show some love. You're going to, you know, and I don't want anything. I don't want, you know, nothing. A friend of mine asked me the other day, he goes, Dave, what if you want all kinds of money? What would you do? I'm like, <laughs> well, I don't want a boat. I don't want a car. I got a nice old truck. I would get me a small piece of land out in the mountains. And I would just build me something very simple. Uh, you know, I drag my shop out there because this shop is movable. I built it on skids so I can move it. I would probably take this wall out right here where I have my painting station and build about 30 feet out so I can get a little bit more space and everything. And um, I'd build an open concept of a... I'd build a pole barn, folks. I built several pole barns back when I was younger. We turned them into houses. I would build a pole barn. And I just only rooms I'd have would be around the bathroom and the bedroom. Other than that, it'd be open concept, simple to heat. And I'd wood and I'd put a mini split it like I got my in my shop here. Very simple, so I could control everything. And you know, I would uh, I would have well water. And a septic system and solar I'd go green as much solar as I could and wind power because we get a lot of wind here in Tennessee you can get your hair blowed off 
You know, but that's what I do, and I, I'd have money the rest of my life because I just don't want anything. I have a beautiful shop. I I don't need really anything in the shop. I'd buy I'd buy maybe a load of wood extra, but I would build on here. I'd build me a uh, an area where I could do all my videoing, and uh, um, I would probably go into more doing classes at the house, getting people here, stuff like that. You know, showing my love, and you don't have to have wood, you don't have to have this. I would buy knives that are quality, and then if you want to take one of my classes, it would be uh, very reasonable, very cheap, and, you know, and you'd have me as an artist, or, you know, maybe get some other artist here, and we all just pitch in, and... You know, do it that way. Pick out a, a charitable donation. I don't care. You know, I would just, I just don't need much. And if I had money like that, I could do a lot of things differently. You know? And I'm, you know, I just don't want much, folks. I'm for, I, you know, how many men do you know that literally say they don't want anything? I'm one of them. You know, I drink coffee and I whittle. All right? I build uh, furniture, stuff like that. And here, pretty soon, I've been telling you, I got a, I got a very personal build. Here a few months ago, unfortunately, I lost my father-in-law. And I have his ashes here at the house now. So, I'm getting ready to build his urn. Very personal to me. Um, I love this man. We got along great. Um, he was like me. He didn't like modernization. He didn't like nothing like that. So, that's what's been kind of going on with me and my wife. You know, she had to go back home and take care of his affairs and stuff like that. And it's uh, It's been very painful for us. You know... Very painful. And, uh, he was only 79 years old. So, young. So, just, um, so that's, that's the big build I keep talking about. I'm going to build his, um, his urn. He never did make it in my shop. And the, he was coming here and then, you know, he uh, got sick, and then the pandemic happened, and he never did get to come here. And that was the whole thing, because he was, he was a builder, and I wanted, him, I wanted him here in the shop so bad. So bad. But he never did get to come. So I'm going to tell you what. When I build the urn, uh, Bill is going to be sitting right on my table saw, waiting for his final place of resting. He is going to be in my shop. Sorry, folks. It's just like I said. It's uh, very painful to me. It is. So, that's the big reveal thing that I, I told everybody that I was getting ready to do do a very special build. And if you know me, you know when I when I when I, uh, I, I I just got to do this. I just. You know, it's in my mind, and I haven't built anything like this in years. I've already got it blueprinted in my head how it's going to be built. So, it's coming. And I don't know if I'm going to do very much video of it. I may show the box, you know, the, the urn and, and stuff. And I've got to build a, a couple jigs for my table saw. I don't have these jigs, and I don't buy stuff. You know me, I, I, I'm a builder. So, when I... You know, I haven't built custom boxes, and oh, I had collar back years ago in my hair. Well, last time I built custom jewelry boxes and stuff like that, and so you know, it's been a while. It's it's been a minute, but it's coming. So, like I said, I don't know how much I'm going to show of it. You know, I may show a little, but like I said, it's 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 a very painful. I'm telling you that right now. It's, it's too fresh. You know, just, you know, 
We're trying to get through it, folks. Just trying to get through it. That's all you can do, right? You know, you try to get through stuff like that. Anyway, let's get off that subject, because like I said, it's <laughs> it's very painful. So I appreciate everybody just kind of listening to me. I feel a little bit better. You know, I, I told everybody I was getting ready to do something. Well, that's it. So, anywho, we're getting the tree knocked out. I like this tree a lot better. It's kind of bent, and, you know, wiggy woggle. And, and look, I am using a V-gouge, folks. I said I do occasionally... I use a V-gouge, and I do, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, occasionally, and is this easier? Yeah, can I cut them with a knife? Yep, but do I want to? Uh, nope. <laughs> My hands could tell you a story. These are old hands. Wore myself out last week, framing. I mean, I have a 20-year-old brain... And a 60-year-old body. And it don't move. <laughs> it doesn't move like it used to, folks. I'm telling you. Man, I had to take a lot of breaks. And it was funny, you know, I was helping my buddy. And uh, he'd uh, he'd cut a board wrong. And he, I'd say, hey, what eye was you looking out of? This is messed up. And we'd laugh about it. And we'd recut another board. And then he'd give me a measurement. And... I'd cut it, and I'd like, uh, what was that measurement? And he'd go, blah, 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 and I'd like, oh, let me grab another board. I, I cut this one short. <laughs> I, I don't frame, folks. I haven't, I could tell everybody, I'm not a contractor no more. I gave that up over several years ago. I'm not a contractor or nothing like that. I don't, uh, I, I just don't move like I used to, folks. I just don't. But we had fun. We laughed. Two old men out there just, you know, has we have health problems and we're trying to do something what a 20-year-old should be doing or a 30 or a 40-year-old, not, not two wore-out old men. But what, you know what? We got her done. You know, it's roughed in. Got all the all the sheet. All, we, we hung T111 on the outside and we put paneling on the inside. Yeah, yeah, I've got to do some custom trim work because the house is older than the hills. So it's bent and wiggle woggled and, you know, twisted. and But, you know, my, my ability of making stuff, uh, that's nothing. I worked on over 100-year-old um, Victorian homes. That was <laughs> was really bad. And I, I did trim work in it, so I can fix this thing. No problem. We're going to start again, I think, the 6th of November and rip the kitchen out. And, you know, that demo. hope my wife is uh, around because she loves demo. When she worked years in my construction business, I I taught her how to do demo. And she's like, a, I, I mean, she just goes nuts. She likes the demo. She does. You hand her the tools and let her go. Before you know it, it's it's cut out and done and ready to rock. <laughs> I'm telling you, she likes the demo. But anywho, that's just a few things that's been going on. Like I said, this is, ain't going to be nothing special. Just a very, I needed this whimsical tree because, I don't know, I wasn't satisfied with the other one. You know, it's uh, the old Google brain just did not like it. And I drawed it and I, you know, it, was, it just didn't fit. Didn't fit my what I wanted. You know, I know it sounds probably you're poo too picky, Whittler Day. Well, maybe so. You know, maybe so. You know. There you go. Get in there and just knock it out. Knock it out. Knock it out. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know, folks. I'm a crazy old carver, ain't I? You probably thought, well, <laughs> this guy's nuts. You know what? 
when you do something that you've been doing all your life and you are able to share it with people, life is ten times better. I'm going to tell you that right now. Life is ten times better. Well, there it is. I told you. I just wanted to do a simple tree. and I got I got another idea about the idea. So I'm going to put this behind him. And then he's going to sit on a platform. But then, here we go again. I'm thinking of something. One more thing. And here's the thing. I kind of draw the eyes. I'm not for sure if I, I like him yet. You know, messing with eyes. You know, eyes can be a... I, you know, I want him cartoon. Because he is a cartoon draw uh, drawing. And I just want to get him done for the show. And everything. So, like I said, there he is. Very simple, very whimsical, and I've been doing a lot of these little gnomes, you know, these little gnomes just cut out out of the out of out of this uh, wood. I got to get back here to paint it already. Yeah, hang on, folks. Show you a couple things when we jump off here. You know, just a couple. Oh, here's my reindeer with a the hat. I just drawled it up real fast the other day. Oops. Up back here, George. Yeah, just whimsical. It's going to have a, a hanger. Just fun art. You know, and then the gnomes. Little pieces of wood. You know, there's one. There's a different one. And then I switched it up, put the that collar on the hat. And, you know, there he is. And I put the gold on the bottom. You know, these are just simple. This is just whittling. I stress so much. Get out there and whittle. Don't don't worry about it. You know, just get out there and whittle. Well, I'm gonna fix that. I like to fix that. That's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, just get out there and play and whittle and enjoy yourself. You know. All right, folks. I'm gonna jump off here. Let me get it back up here so you can see the old man. But anywho, this was just a quick. Fast video. I wasn't satisfied with the tree or nothing like that, so I had to, I had to, you know, change it up because I can't leave nothing alone. That's the million dollar problem of me. You know why? I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, so got the tree all carved and all that, and I like it. I like it better than this one. This is the first one, and this one here is more skinny and more bent and. You know, more whimsical. So, you know, it is what it is with an old man. But anywho, uh, thanks everybody. This channel is just going and going and going. And this family channel is what I wanted. You know, set your grandkids down. Set your children down. Let them watch a crazy old man that can't sing and just enjoys life and, and, and wood carving. You know, um, this... It's my forte of life. I, I just love, I love building. I love to carve. And uh, thank you for listening to me. It, it uh, you know, it, it helped. Like I said, it's, uh, it's you know, it, it did help, you know. So I love and appreciate everyone. And you all just have a blessed day. Like, uh, subscribe, and comment, and ring that notification at the top. Uh, that way you'll know when my videos come out. And you all have a blessed day, and I will just talk to you later. Thank you.